The Red Lion Hotel in Anaheim is very conveniently located to Disneyland. This is an outside view of the hotel in the front part where you can park in. There is an IHOP right next door. Across the state street is a really good restaurant attached to another hotel. There are two drugstores down on the corner available in walking distance. This is the um, end facing away from Disneyland. It's very attractive. It's a very quiet section. This is the four-way, a little bit down to the left of the Red Lion Hotel. That is Joe Morton's great steakhouse if you want to spend a little extra money. At the end of this part with the palm trees is the Anaheim Conference Center, as well as two big, nice hotels. We had a few problems with our stay. It definitely wasn't fancy, and we did report those to the manager downstairs. He just um, kind of thanked us for reporting it, didn't offer anything to do to fix it. I posted this on Facebook as a review, and Red Line came along and put a sad face. Oh, well, I guess that's all they're going to do. Let's talk about some of the things in the room. It was fairly clean. It's an old hotel, not very expensive. It has the normal amenities that one might expect. The bathroom amenities were just average. They weren't really great, weren't really bad. The water pressure was good in the shower. No complaints there. The only problem we had with the plumbing was, we'll show you later in this video, but the toilet had a, a running problem. But other than that, the, the bathroom was okay. It had a decent shower head with good water pressure, so that was good. Plenty of towels. It is an older room. It didn't smell fresh and clean and new. The sheets had a distinct odor to them. I did have to spray them down. They smell just like like an old vintage clothing store. It's what I call the old man smell. They just smell that way. It has good amenities for plugging in your electronics, which is nice. All hotels should do that. The bed was super comfortable. I had no trouble sleeping on the bed, with the exception of the inability to control the thermostat. We'll come back to that. Spacious area for uh, grooming, writing, studying, putting your stuff up. Our room actually had a decent view. It happened to be raining during the December visit. And now let's get back to that toilet. It did have just a peculiar running sound that was noticeable, stronger than you're going to hear in this video. We had some troubles with the coffee maker. It took us several tries to get it to work. Even when we followed the directions, we did follow the directions, but it would spit out coffee grounds, and then what you saw there, just like... <laughs> drip coffee for real. The thermostat would absolutely not do anything for us. It got very, very hot at night, way hotter than 68 degrees, and we were really kind of suffocating. Also, the phone had this strange buzzing sound. If you're looking for an inexpensive place to stay while you're in the Anaheim Resort area, the Red Line Inn might be it. The price is right, but do not look for any special amenities or a lot of help from the front desk. The food in the restaurant was fairly decent. It was actually pretty good, but it's just an old hotel in a very expensive area. So know what you're looking for. Thanks for watching.